Hey everybody, welcome to today's photo of Joseph's photo moment coming to you live from New York City. Live from Saturday night. No, it's not Saturday night. It is, uh, what is today? Today's Thursday, Thursday morning. And it's about time for me to head home. So as you know, I was out here for the B&H presentation on the Pocket Wizard toys. That was really cool. Went really, really well yesterday. Um, that will be online on the B&H website, but it takes a couple of weeks for them to edit that together. But they're going to edit put that together, put it up online, and I guess they do a highlight reel as well. Kind of a shorter version, so if you don't want to watch the whole nearly two hour presentation slash demo, you can check out a highlight reel that uh, they says roughly maybe 15 minutes or so. So that's really cool. That's I'm excited to have that coming out. Um, big cool news that I got, remember on, well two days ago when I released a video, I said, oh maybe tomorrow, yes if I got the time right tomorrow I'll be able to tell you something really cool. And A, I forgot to tell you, but it wasn't that I wanted to tell you, it's that I wanted to show you but that, it turned out, was wrong because I can't, probably, apparently can't read. So I got a press release from DxO, uh, DxO Labs, maker of the DxO One, a couple days ago, saying that there was an embargo on this news until yesterday morning. And I didn't read the entire article, the entire press release, to realize that it wasn't just the, the embargo for, was for yesterday. The actual product isn't out until next year, early 2017. But here's the deal. What you're going to get is the ability to do Facebook Live from this guy. Now that is crazy cool. Because what will happen is it's not just connect the camera to the iPhone and go live. As you may have seen in a previous update, you can, and I did a whole video on this, you can now separate the camera from the iPhone and connect over Wi-Fi. Which there's a certain irony here because when the DxL1 was first released, this was one of the big deals is that you don't have to use Wi-Fi. You connect and it's a physical tethered connection, it's faster, it's more reliable, it's instant, you just connect and go and it's great. Uh, but obviously there's advantages to having a Wi-Fi connection and so now that is part, of, well, will be part of the software. So with this little guy here, you will be able to connect as far as I understand it and keeping in mind, I've only read the press release, I haven't actually played with this. Um, you will be to connect this to your iPhone like normal and just go Facebook Live, that's cool. But the really cool thing is that with the Wi-Fi connection, I could have this camera sitting there shooting me. I could be holding the iPhone in my hand, controlling the live broadcast, hopefully also seeing comments. But the really cool, I don't know, I don't know, whatever, extra cool thing on there is you can actually switch to the camera in the iPhone. So I'll be able to have the DX01 and like this little tripod -y guy, how's this work? See, this little mini tripod kind of a thing that attaches onto here, which is completely tightened down. There we go. Um, so you get this little stand. Right, so I can put this and then this thing can mount onto a tripod if you want, but this is just fine. It sits on a table, boom. So that could be on there pointing at me and then my iPhone in my hand and if I wanted to show you something else, I could switch over to the camera on the iPhone. I think it even said you could switch to both the front and the rear facing. So in effect, having a three camera shoot, two of those cameras, of course, being in the iPhone. Uh, and you, you don't have to hand hold the iPhone, right? You could put that onto a tripod as well, just like it is right now, which would be super cool. One thing that wasn't clear is audio. Now audio of course is extremely important and the microphone in this is not going to be very... Is there a microphone in here? I have... You know what? There probably isn't. Well maybe. There's something that looks like it could be a mic hole. I don't recall. You'd think I've done enough videos on this thing. you think I would know. Um, I don't recall if it has a microphone. But if it does, regardless, it's going to be crap. You know. So what I really want is to be able to use a lav, which can't connect to this. And one of the problems has been that you can't connect, even pre-iPhone 7, you couldn't connect your microphone to the iPhone while this was connected because it got in the way. But now, with this off on Wi-Fi, you can. So, again, haven't tested this, but hopefully, theoretically, I could have the iPhone in my hand tethered to a wired microphone, have a proper mic, using this camera sitting wherever it needs to be. Now, that would be fantastically cool. So, hopefully, that's how that's all going to work because that will make the whole Facebook Live on the road thing even more exciting. Facebook has done a good job of upgrading. Like right now, I'm going live from my phone and it's widescreen, whereas before it was cropped to square. It's better quality now than it used to be and when I'm done with this broadcast, I will tell it to save the video and that is now higher quality than it used to be. So Facebook's always already doing a great job of improving the quality of the, of the experience um, and this is just gonna take that to a whole new level of portable video broadcasting, Facebook living. So cool. Uh, okay, so there's that last thing I wanted to type. So I had oh, this whole plan this morning of shooting here in this hotel. I'm in this hotel called the Arlo Nomad. If you haven't seen this hotel, which you probably haven't because it's brand new. It just opened less than a month ago. This place is cool. The room is tiny, 
but it's very nicely appointed. But everything in New York is small. But who cares about the room? You don't want to be in here. Where you want to be is down in the bar, in the library lounge, in the back room, kind of chill out, fireplacey type area, in the restaurant, uh, in the lobby, loungy area with a 24-7 cafe and deli kind of, it's just, it's, this place is great. It's right near Koreatown. The, um, the, the Eiffel Tower, yes, the Eiffel Tower is right around the corner. Uh, the Empire State Building is, I have a view of the Empire State Building. I can see, you know what, here, let's go take a look. I'll show you this thing. I mean, you know, look, we're talking about the view out a window and where I kind of have to you know, get down and get up, but uh, there it is, look at that. Isn't that cool? You'd probably rather look at that than look at me here. Yeah, this is gonna be too backlit. I probably can't really do that very well. Anyway, um, there's a comment here. Frank, love it. Hi, Joseph. Frank in England. Hello, Frank. Thanks for watching. So, um, let's see here. Anyway, so I was planning on doing this whole shoot here in the hotel lobby. I got kind of pseudo permission. It's like I carried away. You know, it's not like I pulled permits or anything. Um, and they told me if it's gonna be a big deal, if I'm gonna be in people's way, I'm gonna have to pay. I don't want to pay. So, because it's just kind of for fun. So, um, I had this whole plan. The back room was, to oops, was totally being unused. And, uh, and, and my model flaked. <laughs> 10 minutes before shoot time. Get an email. Not going to make it. <sighs> uh, advice if you're working with models, you got to pay them. Right? If you pay them, they'll show up. And the reason that this model wasn't going to be paid is because she had approached me and asked me if I would do some headshots and basically portfolio type work for her and what would I charge. And I'm saying, and I told her, well, look, I've got, um, I actually need a model for something I want to do. So I won't charge you. You don't charge me. You'll get some pictures. I'll get what I need out of it. Done deal. <sighs> Apparently mistake. So no model equals no photos. I didn't get the photos that I wanted to get here. I did, however, last night get something pretty fun with the, uh, with the pocket wizards and I'll, um, I shot a little video around it. I don't know how well that turned out because, you know, it's just me with the trying to shoot stills and video at the same time, but I'll put something together. Uh, I'll try to put something together. I'll probably work on that on the plane because there is one shot that I set up that actually came out really cool. And if the video worked out, I haven't even looked at it. If the video worked out, that'll be really cool too. In fact, here, let's just show you real quick. Oh, I guess I have to launch Lightroom first. I'll give you a quick little preview of what the photo was. In the meantime, any other comments here? Got a couple people watching live other than Frank, whoever's out there watching live, say hi. Here, let's take another look at the New York view while we're waiting for this thing to launch here. Look at this. So if you saw my snow video earlier, the snow has stopped, which is good because I really don't want to get stuck in New York. But look at that. I love Manhattan. This place is so cool. Frank, the name of this hotel is the um, Ar Arno. Wait, hold on. Now I'm, now I'm getting it wrong. We'll go look at the thing on the on the door. It is the I'm trying to trip over my cables. Arlo, Arlo, something else. I have two names. Here we go. Arlo Nomad. There it is. The Arlo Nomad. If I can get, can you see that? There's the address and the phone number of the Arlo Nomad. Stay here. It's awesome. It was really quite affordable, but I would imagine that that was because it was brand new. I would. The prices are probably going to go up, but. Pretty slick. Okay, here's, so that's not the pool picture. That's not the one I wanna show you. Although that is shot with the pocket wizard as well. Let's see here, this was the fun one. Um, I started playing with these a little bit, but so this is the front door of this church is lit with a flash on the pocket wizard. And I am standing across the street shooting this with a long lens. So that's pretty cool. So we'll see how that turned out. Okay, so that was it. That's what I wanted to tell you about this morning. Um, upcoming, release for the DX01 for Facebook Live. Insanely cool, cannot wait to get on that. Uh, I gotta talk to them, hopefully I can get on the beta. I don't know, they might have, maybe I can get them to have me do a video on it, a proper one, because that'd be really cool. Pocket Wizard flashes have been working out beautifully. Unfortunately, I need to send um, send these units back right now, but but they're awesome. So if you are, whether if you're shooting Lumix, then obviously these are the new Pocket Wizards for Lumix. If you're shooting Canon, Nikon, or other things, uh, you you know, Pocket Wizards, if you're into wireless, it's a really cool way to go. Uh, and then uh, flaky models, what are you going to do? Man, what a drag. Oh, well, what that means is I have a little bit of time. i got to check out of here in 18 minutes. I have a little bit of time to go shopping. So, hey, it's Christmas time. Got a store to hit. Get something from my, get something from my daughter, something for my wife, and uh, see how that goes. All right, thank you guys for watching. 
and we'll see you guys next time. Um, I'll be back in the studio tomorrow morning. And oh yeah, tomorrow, remember, tomorrow morning we're doing a interview with the uh, the creator of the calendar, the the Grow Baby calendar. We're talking about the photography behind that along with her. So this is of course assuming that I make it back because I have an extremely tight connection, like a 40 minute connection in Denver. Weather looks good, so I think I'll make it. But uh, yeah, that's what we've got to deal with tonight. All right, guys, see you next time. Bye-bye.